Welcome back to the channel. So today's not going to be an aviation video, but one for a gun. I recently purchased a Ruger SR 1911, and after putting through about 400 rounds, the white dot on the right rear sight simply popped off. So I contacted Ruger. They sent me out a new sight, no questions asked, but I didn't want to go through the hassles of having to uh, put that new one on, so I decided to paint it. So what I'm going to show today is uh, the process that I went through, what I learned, and stick around to the end, and I'll give you what you might call a little pro tip on if you're going to do this, uh, what might be the best way to do it if you're in a similar situation or if you're just firing something or have something with iron sights and you want to put a little color on them. So let me show you what it looked like before I started. I decided to go ahead and purchase this kit, the, what is this, Bright Sights, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, and uh, I'm going to go with the green in the back and the safety orange here uh, for the front sight. For, from the preliminary looks of it, I think I'm going to like the way that's going to look when I sight it myself. So the only thing I'm uh, not real happy with is that I should have probably put some white behind the right dot because the left one is way brighter. You can see that here. But let's see what it looks like in 24 hours. So it's been 24 hours and i got to say I'm a little disappointed in the way it looks. The left one obviously is uh, much easier to see than the right one because of the white backing. So I'm going to take care of that now. I'm going to put in a little bit of white paint and I'll let that dry. And then uh, I'll put a little bit of green over the top of that and see if I can't get the two to match. All right, well, this looks way better. Now that I put a little white behind the black, green really stands out a lot better. And definitely gives it a, a better presence. I'm pretty happy with this. So I think there's a couple of takeaways from this. One is no matter what color you're applying to your gun sights, put a layer of white behind it. It uh, really help it stand out, at least it did using this manufacturer's colors. The second one would be when you're doing it with the round sights like this, you definitely want to put a little bit of a blob on the end of that toothpick and just kind of drop it in there. That seemed to really work well. Now, learning from this one, I'm going to go ahead and recolor my Glock sights in a similar manner. And I think I'm going to do a much better job. And I'll make a video on that one. That'll be coming fairly soon. But I'm going to do some a different process with uh, me using some uh, masking tape and an X-Acto knife so I could uh, really get some crisp lines. I had to clean up these sites a little bit afterwards and it was just a little bit time consuming so I'd rather go ahead and start it from the beginning and uh, give it a clean look from the start. So I hope you found this enjoyable. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for my Glock site painting and that should be coming uh, fairly soon. Till next time, have a great day.